Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about what a grill and register and diffuser is. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, to begin with, we're going to start with the following. So usually these air devices are called the group of GRD. So G stands for grill, R for register and D for diffuser. So what is a grill? A grill is mainly applied for returns. And actually, it is pretty much like a plate without a damper. A register would be a grill, but with a damper. And a diffuser would be more for commercial applications. And it's like a 360 degree airflow, for example. All right. So now let's start with the grill. So the most important part in these air devices are we have to be able to control velocity. So let's put that in, let's see which color, let's choose color yellow. We need to control velocity, velocity. And for these, since it's commercial applications, we're gonna put NC, which is noise cr criteria. So we need to find a perfect balance because it's better to have more velocity, but the downside is we're going to have more noise. So for grills, uh, it's recommended to have the velocity between 300 to 500. Okay. But 500 watt, 500 CFM, 500 watts, what? 500 FPM. And as we know, FPM stands for feet per minute. All right. But so to make it better, to make it a standard, what, what we're going to do for design is going to be the following. So uh, an average number, so, so that way we want to be more specific. When we're sizing grills, we're going to size it based on velocity of 400, which is pretty much the average of 300 and 500. So 500 FPM would be better. All right, this is optimum, and I'm gonna put this with and um, with the pink. There we go. That's the one that we're aiming for. But what happens if you have this return with a filter? So if you have a filter, we are going to aim for a veloc velocity of three three hundred fpm. There we go. If you have this return and this has a filter. This is in order to summarize in order to make it easier. All right. So what is the most important part? We're talking about velocity. Okay. So what about the register? As we were mentioning, a register is simply a grill plus a damper. So a damper, by saying a damper, we have this element right here that is able to adjust. So in this case, we're going to put another, um, we, I don't want to mix a lot of colors, so we're going to keep the, um, yellow. So this is able to ad adjust, adjust airflow. When we're talking about airflow, we talk about CFM, right? Adjust CFM. In here, no damper. I'm just going to put grill, but no damper damper no so no adjustment no adjust okay so let's put this in brackets or in here brackets adjust not adjust not adjust cfm okay all right so what about diffusers so in this case for the diffuser we have the noise criteria and this depends on the application depends on the manufacturer and the application. So since this is more for commercial, this actually is very useful for ceiling tiles. Useful for ceiling tiles. So if we have a ceiling tile, this actually ceiling tiles, this actually fits very well for commercial applications. And usually we use the 24 by 24 or 12 by 12, depending. But the noise criteria is the main important part. So noise criteria should be around below 25. Sometimes it goes 30, 35, but that depends on the application. You know, there is like, uh, we could have uh, hospitals, we can have like um, 
you know, schools, restaurants, depending on the application, okay? So that's a very rough estimate. And now, since we're, we were talking about the velocity, the most important parts, right? Velocity, velocity, noise criteria. Now, what about the velocity for the registers? So the velocity for the registers actually is recommended to be between 600 and 800 FPM, all right, in that range. So it's actually good for us to have 800 FPM. However, just to be safe, we have an average of 700 FPM. So with 700 FPM, we're gonna be very much safe. So if we're safe, we're gonna put this as a very important aspect, which is an asterisk in here. So asterisk. So when we're doing grills, we do 400 FPM, and if it's a filter, if it has a filter, we do it for 300 FPM. When we have, when we're sizing a register, we take into account 700 FPM. If it's 800 FPM, it's better. It's gonna have more throw. However, it's going to create more noise. In other words, you were gonna put in here velocity. Uh, no, let's go back. Let's see, let's keep consistent colors. If higher the velocity, of course, the more noise, noise. So we're trying, we're trying to, to have a perfect mixing of air mixing. At the same time, we don't want to have a lot of noise. So that's why 700 and 400 works very well and 300 for filter. Okay, now you might be wondering, what does this velocity, velocity have to do with my air size? with my register sizing. Because when you are doing your sizing, you're gonna have, I don't wanna have so many colors, so that's why we're gonna put here. You, your input is gonna be actually the CFM. That's gonna be your main input, CFM. And uh, that's something that you already have to know, the CFM, okay? In all of them, the CFM. And that's not gonna move. For example, if you have a two-ton unit, a two-ton unit is 400 per ton, that would be 800 CFM. So for example, if I need 800 CFM, then say that I need 800 CFM, okay? 800 CFM, let's say in here 800 CFM, okay? Every manufacturer would have their own tables as I'm showing right here. This is, I'm not as affiliated with Hart and Cooley, but I found this table very interesting, okay? So, very useful. So, uh, so since we have the CFM, we need to, up and we have the design factor, the design criteria, which is velocity, velocity noise criteria for commercial and these two for residential. Uh, then we can apply the continuity equation. What is the continuity equation? Let's put that in green. Q equals velocity times area. So, v, so Q is CFM, V is FPM, and A is area. All right. In my next videos, we're going to be talking about all the areas because this becomes so confusing. What, which area are you going to talk about? For example, this is an 8 by 4 register and this is an 18 by 10 grill and this is a <laughs> 12 by 12. So which area? So which, which is this eight by four? Is it the outer measurements, the inner measurements? The, so there is so many areas to talk about. That's gonna be for the next video. But for applications, as you know, we know already the CFM, we wanna size the register. Of course, this eight by four is not gonna be enough to, to provide 800 CFM, right? But what if I put 800 of them? If I put 800, I mean, no, 10, 10 registers along my bedroom, uh, uh, along my apartment unit. So if it's 10, 10 of these, 800 divided by 10, that would be 80. So I need this alone is going to supply, say, 80 CFM. So for 80 CFM, let's select this register. So this 80 CFM, because I'm going to have eight of them. I'm gonna have eight of them, okay? So eight, no, I'm sorry, 10. 
10 of them would be 800, right? So each register is gonna give me 80 CFM. So what is my governing, the one that governs the design, the velocity. So the velocity I'm trying to choose is 700 FPM. So now I'm, go, I'm going to the table, which every manufacturer will have their own table. So I'm gonna circle 700 FPM. There you go, phase velocity. So there's a lot of terminology that we need to cover in the next video. So phase velocity 700. I would like to go for 800, but wait a minute, the noise is the issue. So we don't want complaints and they, we don't want to go back and hear that they're having, they can't sleep. So that's why we're going for 700. And then we're talking about this a eight by four. And as you can see, we have 90 CFM. All right, 90 CFM is gonna be enough for 80. Even you can have the smaller one in here, two, two by 14, but that depends on the contractor, that depends on the client, that depends on the homeowner, but this is gonna make it. And also, the also another downside in here is gonna be the following. I'm gonna have the more velocity, the more noise and the more pressure loss. Okay, or pressure drop. And that's also an issue because you don't want to lose pressure. So for example, for 700 FPM, your pressure loss or drop is 0 0.031. We don't like that. So you can even go for 600, you have less pressure drop and you have ADC FM. That depends on the customer. But you know, pretty much if you don't have so many losses, you can also go for 700, you have 90, and then that would be your uh, your specifications. I'm gonna put this in pink, and there we go. So the spread and throw, what is that? So if you have in here, for example, your diffuser, and this is the wall, there we go, that's the wall, and this is your register, okay? You have your register. So the throw is, so this is gonna be like a cone like this, big, big, and this would be the spread. Okay, spread, spread. So the spread would be in this case 7.5, 7.5 inches, no, this would be feet, and this would be the throw um, from here. Oh, let's see, let's make it very nice. And then we're gonna put this with, um, let's see this with green. From here to here, that's gonna be the throw, throw. How far it can go? So in this case, the throw is 7.5 feet. And so we want a terminal velocity. So the terminal velocity that we would like is 50 FPM. Terminal velocity, okay, velocity, that is terminal, there we go. The velocity or terminal velocity would be, let's put VT in here, VT, VT, would be approximately 50 to 75 FPM, but most likely we want 50, so that way the customer feels comfortable. All right, that's terminal velocity. So as as I said, there is so there is a lot of terms in this. Um, in back design, but in the next videos we're gonna we're going to be uh, we're gonna be uh, explaining what those uh, term what that terminology is. All right, all right. For the noise criteria, we're gonna have as I said, that's gonna be for commercial. This would be the a diffuser, and this is mostly for three hundred and sixty degrees. So this is a four way, one, two, three, four. And this is governed by noise criteria. And this is mainly for commercial applications. And we're gonna go for this in a specific detail, detail in the next videos, all right? So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, hit the like button and subscribe and share, all right? Thanks so much.